Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna cover the top 9 essentials you're gonna need for university. So, if that sounds interesting, let's get right to it. First up, I would recommend all of you guys to get a good phone. Like, get something that at least has like a 128GB storage because for this university and for med school in general, I feel like you're going to be taking a lot of pictures, especially during class when the professors just speed through from one topic to the other. Um, it's much more efficient to just take a pic of some of the notes or diagrams that they make on board rather than to like sit and note it down. Tip number two, invest in a good device, like a good laptop or a tablet or heck, even a two-in-one. Um, I personally prefer to use like my iPad with my Apple Pencil because I tend to take a lot of notes and I prefer them to all be in one place rather than like in multiple notebooks. Of course, there's nothing wrong with notebooks, but it's just that I prefer to have all my notes in one place as well as I don't want to invest in a lot of notebooks because I feel like it just gets quite heavy to carry them. And apart from that, I also have a Mac which helps me stay connected with the iPad. Um, I don't know, it's, I just really like the Apple ecosystem wherein like whatever notes I take on the iPad also pops up on the Mac. So that ecosystem just works quite well in my favor at least. So yeah. And like in case um, I want to watch some videos for med school that I just pop open my laptop, watch it on YouTube um, while I just take down notes on my iPad or if I'm reading some kind of um, notes on the laptop or like going through some lecture presentations, I would much rather like practice or like take whatever notes I need on my iPad. I don't know, I just feel like the whole system works perfectly well for me. I'm pretty sure um, it'll be a good investment for you guys as well. Or like if you want, you can just get a laptop and like take notes in a notebook if that works well for you as well. So moving on to number three, invest in a good pair of earphones, headphones, whatever. I usually carry with me like these wireless earphones as well as a pair of wired earphones because you never know when these things run out of charge and like I, I just prefer to be prepared whenever possible because um, I tend to go to the library in between classes or like kind of a cafe to study. For number four, make sure you have a snack with you. Like trust me, um, whenever you go for classes, especially in first year, I felt like I was starving most of the time because I was like jumping from one class to the next, um, not to have anything to eat or like just fasting for that whole period of time. So definitely carry some kind of snack with you because it's not always going to be feasible to like go to a restaurant or like just grab a quick bite as easily. For number five, make sure you bring some kind of hard disk with you because there's quite a lot of notes you can get from your seniors and I feel like you're not going to use all of them but it's always good to have all of them with you just in case. So what I do is, um, once I get the notes on my hard disk, I usually have a USB or a pen drive, which wherein like I usually save some of the notes that I'm gonna need for the next two, three weeks. This just covers the essentials that I need on a daily basis. And for some of the stuff that you're gonna need throughout the years, for one, I would definitely recommend you to get two lab codes. One, just for dissections. The other one, perhaps, maybe at the end of the dissection week, um, you're gonna have the exam, so you're gonna make sure like you're presentable to the professor. So maybe use the clean one uh, during that time. And apart from dissections, you're also gonna need a lab coat for um, histology, um, as well as like for some of the physiology practicals as well. So there's no harm in having two lab coats. Um, apart from this, invest in like a dissection kit. This one is a fancy one. It, has like a lot of stuff like to be honest um i didn't use most of these things like mainly you just need a scalpel and like some of the blades uh, usually they sell this in the anatomy building right before dissection starts so especially for first year you guys to get a stethoscope um it's like a cheap one um honestly um you're going to be using it a lot in the later years so make sure maybe you get a good one to be honest i didn't i didn't really mind using this so much um, and it's going to be quite useful for you uh, in the future as well. So yeah. back to dissection, I use like a small notebook like to jot down like whatever notes uh, that happen during dissections. Like you get these dissection assistants who tell you about the important stuff that you got to know for dissection. So during that time, I just prefer to take note in the small book rather than like taking it on my phone or something because I, I really didn't want my phone to get like damaged or anything during that time. So yeah, 
And apart from that, um, make sure you invest in like a pair of um, white Crocs or like open end shoes. Um, it's definitely necessary, especially like if you go for dissections. Apart from dissections, um, needed for like I think histology as well. Like if you want to change shoes. So yeah. Anyways, that's it for now. Um, do like, share, and subscribe, as well as comment down below what else you guys would like to know, and I'll be happy to answer whatever questions you have. Anyways, that's it for me today. See you guys next time.